Hey everybody, I'm Sean with Medieval Collectibles and here with me is a beast of a weapon. The Erlen Sword, made by Dark Sword Armory. This impressive blade is a two-hander worthy of any warrior. More than that, it's also a masterful blend of iconic Norse style with just the right amount of fantasy. The end result is a powerful weapon that's as attractive as it is functional. It's easy to see the Viking influence on the sword. So where's that fantasy part come in? In part, it's the length. You see, historical Viking swords were almost always one-handed, as much for reasons of cost as for the importance of the shield wall in Viking battle tactics. However, one only needs to look at the Danax, a popular weapon among fighters, to see how much a Viking might appreciate the power of a two-hander. Thus, this Erlen sword stays true to its roots while embodying the kind of two-handed sword that a Norse warrior would love and appreciate. Like a traditional one-handed viking sword, this two-hander has a wide blade that delivers impact on every swing, and it is a delight to swing, let me tell you. It also features a long fuller down the length of the blade, which serves to reduce the weight. The effect is that this rather hefty looking sword feels good and responsive in the hand. As an added touch, the blade has also been engraved with Elder Futhark runes down the fuller. The sword's guard is simple yet handsome, and adds to the weapon's overall appeal as well. It's made in solid bronze, and the guard is reminiscent of what you might see in high fantasy. It's short, rounded, and tipped with angular claws, like those you might find on a great dragon or beast. The pommel is also made in solid bronze, but differs a bit from a typical viking style. Instead of a lobed or nut-shaped pommel, as was common on most swords, it instead features a scent stopper shape that fits the hand nicely. This translates to a grip that's a bit longer than an actual two-handed sword, ensuring plenty of control. Now that we've covered the blade's appearance, let's get into its construction and geometry. This sword has an overall length of 44 inches. It is made from 5160 high carbon spring steel, which is a steel alloy made with a small mixture of silicon and chromium. This makes the steel tough and durable, and it's for those reasons that it's a well-loved alloy by swordsmiths the world over. It's also dual tempered, which means it technically has two ratings of hardness. The cutting edge has a hardness of 60 Rockwells, while the core of the sword has a hardness around 48 to 50 Rockwells. This dual temper ensures that the sword's edge is strong and durable, while also giving the sword enough softness to flex and resist impact when it's being used. The blade also has a very short ricasso of about three inches just above the guard. That's a portion of the sword where the edge isn't sharpened. The sword is very well constructed, with a full-length tang that's been hot peened at the pommel, ensuring a lot of durability in the grip. Speaking of, the grip is made from wood and wrapped in black leather. It has an octagonal shape that fits the hand very well. It also ensures the sword indexes well, ensuring you can tell where the blade's edge is just by holding on to it. The grip also features subtle ribbing, as well as two larger ribs at the middle that break apart the two-handed grip. For a big two-hander, this sword is surprisingly responsive, weighing in at about four pounds. It's also very well balanced. It feels almost like you could wield it with one hand. Speaking of balance, the point of balance on this sword rests about three inches up from the guard, so right about there. The point of percussion, that sweet spot where you want to try to strike when swinging the sword, sits about 19 to 20 inches up from the guard, so it's right about there. As you can see, it doesn't respond too much when I hit it. Speaking personally, this sword surprised me a great deal when cutting. I expected it to be heavy, maybe even a bit unwieldy, but it was anything but. The sword's not very heavy and it performs like a dream. I can honestly say it's a new favorite of mine, and it definitely gets my recommendation. We offer this sword in two distinct varieties on our site. One with a scabbard, and one with a scabbard with attached sword belt. The included scabbard, as you can see here, is made from wood and wrapped in black leather with steel fittings at the tip. It also has a unique leather mouth that keeps the weapon protected when it's not in use. You can order either version of the sword, sharpened or unsharpened. Please be aware that if you do order this sword sharp, it comes with a very, very keen edge. Thanks for watching, and we'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Comments are always welcome, 
And if there's anything you'd like to see a review of on our site, comment that below too. And remember, if you're looking for a killer viking sword that looks as good in battle as it does on display in your longhouse or hall, you can't go wrong with this Erland sword from Dark Sword Armory, which you can order for yourself by clicking the appropriate link in the description below. Farewell for now, and I'll see you in the next video.